And how would you not rinse when you wouldn't know what the Offler is because you keep saying his name all the time? Like with the outhouse? What in the name of Offler? Ring any bells? Why have all the teddy bears in the window got fangs? Oh, maybe they're, um, uh, werebears. Hmm, what an extraordinary shop. What do you mean? It's a toy shop. Doesn't really seem the sort of place for passing trade. Not true. But I guess it's as good a place as any. Ah, prime knickknacks. Purple piñatas. That's not how you spell piñatas. It's not with a J. But I guess they couldn't uh, type down the uh, thing on top of the N. Special today. Sweet pretty pony home abattoir set. The whole Somehow, what? I don't think it'll catch on. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it would be a good sale. And the toy maker really looks like uh, a certain person we know. Actually, I think this might technically be a ball of twine. All right, it's a small difference in nomenclature, but it might be important to somebody someday. True, the it is the 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 stuff. Ah, looks like a prime paste blanc extraordinaire to me. So good it's, body, but a bit fruity for my taste. So it's paste, not glue. Hmm, wood, solid, flat. Yes, it's definitely a counter, all right. Well, it's good to have a counter when you have a shop. What an extraordinary person. So it's an extraordinary person who has an extraordinary shop. Greetings, shopkeeper. <laughs> Rambunctious. Good day, sir. Good day. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob. The doll with a face you can rip clean off. Sounds delightful. I... It's very therapeutic. I can imagine. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Uh... Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, yes, yes. Never felt better. I got a feeling he might not be... So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? I don't think he might be Santa Oh, just Claus. browsing. Browsing? Yeah, I'm looking around. Yes. Not... Not plotting? No, just browsing. Definitely not. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? I don't think that's your plan. No, no, not at all. Oh, damn. Why do you ask, sir? Browse away. Thanks. Well, since uh, these things are on sale... <laughs> yes, yeah, a fairly eclectic collection. Yeah. The pink whatever. Can't say as I approve of modern toys. What do you mean? Some modern toys are really good. Although, this is definitely not one of them. Now, there's something you don't see every day a purple stuffed donkey kind of thing, I mean. Well, you don't definitely see that every day. Especially that it has an umbrella and a hat. That doesn't work. Darn it. Well, we got the string. I do need to use the glue with something, but I don't remember what the glue is used with. Well, maybe eventually we will find out. What I do need to do is this. It's a worm with a string tied to its tail. That was one of the things uh, when I played this game for the first time I really didn't realize I could do. And now that I remember doing it, we don't need to worry about it in the future. So pretty much the last place that we have to go to is uh, the palace. So, anyway, how's the wife? Good, I guess. Oh, not so bad. How's yours? 
Oh, doing well, doing well. We thought we might invite you two around for dinner tomorrow night. Awesome. Sounds like you're two gonna have a delightful time. Ah! I've made a chocolate cake, strawberry pudding, and duck's foot casserole with leaf mold. The two first things can sound good, but the last thing, I don't know. Duck's foot casserole. Leaf mold. Uh, yeah, leaf mold. Oh, sorry. Uh, did I say leaf mold? Um, I meant caramel. It's still disgusting. Anyway, there'll be lashings of everything. You know the wife. She likes to cook. Oh, that's a good thing. At least somebody knows how to cook. Yeah, but is this a good idea? What do you mean? I thought she was watching her weight. Maybe she was, but doesn't care Why anymore. should she watch her weight? Yeah. Are you saying that he's... Well, you know. Are you saying that his wife is fat? After last time, when she accidentally ate that camel. How can somebody accidentally eat a camel? I don't want to know. Oh, well, she's not overweight. She's just, uh... Oh, she's just good like... Oh, what a sweet way to say it. Yeah, cuddly. Very, very cuddly. With humps. Dude, I think you're treading on uh, thin ice there. So, um, how's your wife then? Did she get that thing off her face? <laughs> A mole, maybe? Thing? What thing? Her nose, maybe? Uh, the hairy thing. Whiskers? Beard? That's a beauty spot, that is. No, if it has hair, it's a mole. Oh. Oh, I see it. It's definitely a mole if it has hair on it. Bit long for a beauty spot, isn't it, though? I mean, in area. Yeah, definitely a mole. But they love their wives. Look, moustaches are supposed to be a sign of sensuality. Okay, it's not even a beauty spot, it's a freaking mustache on a what, woman. What, women? Yeah. But uh, on dwarves, it Listen, actually is. are you calling my wife ugly? No, he's calling your wife a man. No. Good. I'd have been ever so cross if you did. Well, at least now we know how t we can antagonize these two. Because that's the way to get in here. We need to antagonize them. Now let me make a save here, because if you don't get through here, and actually go through, but... If you get through, but don't go through, you can actually block the game. That you cannot finish it then. Yeah. An adventure game that has something like that. Mm -hmm. A game-stopping thing. Oh good, a palace goon! But aren't these city guards too? Because they're guards. But then again, I guess they're palace guards. Bad luck comes in pairs, I suppose. Apparently. Ah! Will you stop trying to climb from there? I guess you can't do it. Persistent fellow. Look, could you just let me in, please? Clear off! Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Let's see if we can actually... Let's try to get in. Clear off! So that's all you're gonna say, huh? Look. Clear off! Now that's what I call a guarded conversation. <laughs> Is she really that pet then? What? You went right. You always go straight oh, to the. Your friend was saying how fat your wife is, so I thought. You go straight to the jugular, don't you, Rinsley? Oh, Wendy? he did, did he? Yeah, pretty much he did. Flies. I'll never. Well, you specific, specifically said. <laughs> and that's our key to go in. 
That's how you get in here. The first time. We'll be coming here again, eventually. Stout fella. Greetings, lowly and scabby peasant. Hail, old pointy-hatted one, and less of the scabby, thank you. What's happening? We seek an audience with the patrician, the mighty ruler of Ankh Morpork. For what it's reason? It's about this dragon, you see. He's making the cows dry up and all the curtains fade. Well, that's what dragons do when oh, they heat. Really? When they heat places up. Well, that's what our Agnes says. Anyway, who wants to have their family char boiled by a dragon? Suits hell to shift. Yes. I'm, I can imagine. Well, anyway, that's what old Uncle Agnes says. You can't go fairer than that. Uncle Agnes? Uncle Agnes? Yeah. Yeah, Uncle. Don't you mean Aunt? So you'd, uh... you describe him as a bit of a man, then? Hadn't really thought about it, to tell the truth. You don't even know what gender he is. Now you come to mention it, I suppose we should have asked. We just married him off to one of those guards outside the gates. The... I'm... I'm sure... Well, that explains something. Uh, I'm sure Agnes is the one with the moustache. <laughs> it's Nanny Og. Good old Nanny Og. Hello, dear. Hello, Nanny. Eek! <laughs> Tired? Ooh, I give a pretty good foot massage. No, thanks. Now, let's remain very, very calm about this, shall we? Yes, please. A quiet dinner, a relaxing evening watching the potions brew. I think she needs I'm something. very good at toes, you know. And that is a man. How's about just a little sing-song? And Rincewind is not the man for the job. Don't suppose you know a wizard staff has a knob on the end, do you? No, I don't think he does. Mm. Mine hasn't. I can assure you. But I'll just rush off and check, just in case. She won't be rubbing Rincewind staff to find out. If you know what I mean. A thief? Here? Why not? They have a guild, after all. They might need some... Have some business to do with the patriarch. Wait a minute, you're a thief! What are you doing here? Come from the shades. Well, it's about my quota, see? Quota? Ah, you see? The amount I'm allowed to steal, it's not enough. Oh. The dragon's been destroying housing, so rent just went through the roof. I mean, a 20% increase in theft quotas for the duration of the emergency seems a reasonable thing to ask, doesn't it? I'd say Depends so. Depends if you're in the 20%. One of the remarkable innovations introduced by the patrician was to make the Thieves' Guild responsible for theft. With annual budgets, forward planning, and above all, rigid job protection. It's a good thing he takes care of all the guilds in so many ways. It's reasonable. And also... Thus, in return for an average level of crime per annum, the thieves themselves saw to it that unauthorized crime was met with the full force of injustice. Awesome. Which was generally a stick with nails in it. Ouch. I think that's a bit harsh. But I guess it works. After all, they need to be punished. And oh boy. First, let's look at the patrician. Oh, well, he's a busy man. Well, he's the patrician. Maybe this isn't the best time to bother him. I don't think it's ever a good time to bother the patrician. The patrician can be sort of thought of as the semi-benevolent dictator of Ankh Morpork, administering not so much a reign of terror, but more an occasional light shower. Oh, that describes him pretty well. He's a harsh man with a heart of gold. You could say. And still, oh boy. 
If you've ever played adventure games, uh, all kinds of adventure games with the voices like uh, like this has, or it's just uh, different kind of uh, maybe RPGs and all of that. And eventually you might run into a certain character that just really rubs you the wrong way. I mean, it's a character that annoys you a lot. Well, this here is this game's character of that stature. The Fool. Actually, if you're going to spend all day in a chair, I think you'd be better off opting for something with more lower back support. Oh, that's true. Maybe a bean bag would have been better thrown. But the fool. Just what I needed. Ten minutes in a room with a complete git. <laughs> How bad can he be? Trust me, this is going to be annoying. A suspiciously animated jester's staff. And yes, when you look at the animated jester staff called Chucky, you will notice that it actually blinks. Yeah, it's a living jester staff. I guess it's magical or something, but yeah, it's a living staff. <sighs> so let's talk to the fool. Hello? Mudo, oh, it's a visitor, isn't it, Chucky? <laughs> a visitor, yes it is. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Cobble the gear, cobble the gear! Mr. Pencil Ed says hello! Um, hello! He said hello to us, Chucky! Yes, oh, we Chucky, said... Chucky, Chucky! Ugh. Ooh, Chucky, 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 indeed! I wish that was a calling sign for a Chucky from a child's play to come here and rip the fool's face off. Um, yes, uh, what might your name be? He's the fool. It's secret. Eh? I can't tell you, but Mr. Flower knows. <sighs> oh, well, if you like. Don't smell the flower. Um. Hello, Mr. Flower. All this trick in the book, Rincewind. <laughs> what? He's all wet. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Funny, funny, funny. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Excuse me, I think I must have missed something. Yeah. Missed it? Missed it? Oh, oh, very good, very good. He's good, isn't he, Chucky? He's good, he's very good. Yes, he's very good indeed. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Ugh. Are you all right? No. He's a jester. Oh, are we all right, Chucky? Are we all right? No, he's stark raving mad. Come look here, come look here! I think I'm just going to lie down for a little while. Yeah, I would imagine this kind of hurts your head. Look, I was wondering if I could get some information off you. I don't think we will. Information? Information? Yeah, he asks a question. Information, Chucky? About lizards? About dragons, yes? Well, yes, all right. What do you know about dragons? Dragons, all about dragons, then, Uncle. Look, could you just keep it down a little, please? Yeah, I don't. We don't want to stir people here. Dragons, Chucky. Chucky doesn't like dragons. Well, nobody does, but we don't want to establish a. Shut up! Quiet! Yeah, you're disturbing. Now just tell me what you know. You're disturbing the patriarch. That's not a good thing. Uh, tell what? About the dragon. What about the dragon? Yeah. But what dragon? Oh. The dragon that threatens the city. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Rinse, wind, be quiet. But he knows about the dragon. Well, of course we know about the dragon. S quiet! 
Dragon, Chucky, Dragon. Now look. <laughs> Guess what I am now? A complete boring. An idiot. No. No, guess again. A teapot. Mr. Yes, teapot. Mr. Teapot, Chucky. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. Oh. Stop it. I'm a little teapot, short Stop and stout. Stop acting insane. Well, it's kind of hard for him for insane? because... Insane? Mr. Did you say insane? Yeah, he did yeah. say insane. Yes. Mmm, Chucky doesn't like it when I'm called insane. Well, you are My mother called me insane once. She said it right before she died. Ooh. Right. Okay. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. Gotta remember, do not call him insane. Don't insult the insulter. Why do I always get the loons? Well, you're the hero of the story, so... Maloons, boons, goons! <laughs> uh, you come to ask a boon? Look, are you on treatment for this condition? No, I don't think so. Mr. Treatment? Treatment? Mr. Very clever, Mr. Very clever. Mr. Chucky likes treatment. Does Pencil Head Mr. want some treatment, too? Yeah. Now, look, why don't you and your puppet just go away? They can, that they work here. Anyway, what sort of treatment? Do you really want to ask? <laughs> but Chucky likes his jokes. He's not really... <gasps> he's not really joking here. Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Will you share up with the Chucky, Chucky, Chucky? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Yes, please. Everything else about the Jester and his staff is just fine. It's just the Chucky, Chucky, Chucky thing. Noise the hell out of me. I am not a cartoon. I'm just dimensionally impaired. Hmm, true. So you're almost 3D, but you're not. Last time I saw a ring as big as that, there were druids dancing round it. Ring around the rosy. Clever. We didn't see whoever's in the bath. Thank Offler for small mercies. I think uh, the, it would be the Patriarch who would be uh, taking a bath here. At least I would assume so. Yes, definitely a hat stand. How would you know? It could be a mannequin. Not a bad little mirror, that. That's what we're here for. Let's take it. We need it. Anything else here? Eye makeup, rouge, hair cream, all seems a bit dandified if you ask me. Well, the patriarch's, patriarch's got to look good for his job, you know. Ah, the jumbo size. Love those lampwicks. Yeah, they look fantastic. That doesn't work. Can it? Anything else here? Nope. It's pretty much a mirror that we wanted from here. Later on, we'll be coming back here. Well, pretty much we'll be going everywhere later on. Can I talk to the patriarch? So... I hope you've come here on pleasant business. No, really, because... Um, yeah. Yeah, well... Uh, Ridgewind is an Non-disruptive business. Reliable, solid business. Rather than mere disruptive rumor-mongering. You mean... Would I be right? You mean the dragon? Rumor-mongering, solid business, um... Maybe... Well, are you? Or aren't you? Make up your mind. So, uh, you wouldn't consider anything dragony at all to be... Solid business. Valid. Or valid. Valid conversation. Mm, yep. Hmm. In a nutshell, I think. Yep. Yes, 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 I see your point. Um, if, however, just for argument's sake... Argument? Well, I say argument, more a, a suppositionary discussion, really, but if something, say, vaguely reptilian were actually to creep into the conversation... Like yes. a dragon. <laughs> ...and the weather being seasonal, a flame or even fire-breathing theme were to, as it were, intrude across into the subject... Huh. 
Yes. Yes, I see your point. Hmm. Well, well, you see where that begins to lead us, then? Quite. Quite, yes, yes, quite right. Well, I think this sort of information deserves a very thorough treatment. And that will be... Ah, exactly so. Perhaps the dungeon's information retrieval technicians might be willing to offer their services in such a case. Refresh your memory of details, that sort of thing. Yeah, don't ask him about oh, the dragons. Information retrieval technicians. Yeah, torturers. Yes, they're the ones. The ones with racks and windlasses and, and that long sort of bent thing that they poke. Mm-hmm. Ah, now you're with me. All supposition, of course. Of course. <laughs> yes, yes, as you, as you say. Just a theory. In any case. Was there anything you wished to broach with me at all? Taxes, law reforms, no, dragons? Dragon? Goodness, no! What dragon? Exactly. Yes. We'll yeah. let it rest there then, shall we? Don't let me detain you. Of course, of course. Yes, yes, no, no need to stretch the point. Yes, you're very benevolent and everything. But just Have you any idea how difficult it is to get through to see you? Extremely. Not really. Funnily enough, I've never had cause to do it, you see. Why not? Well, I think it's appalling. Whatever happened to open government? He's the patriarch. He can do what he wants. Well, since you put it like that, the last ruler who tried it ended up extremely open. Yeah, I you still know. find it odd that a genuine wizard can hardly get in to see you. I mean, what if there's signs or portents or something? You're blocking traditional seer's roots of egress. The roots of what? Well, I always look on inaccessibility as being a measure of the man. Supply and demand, that sort of thing. Oh, that sort of thing. Gotcha. Still, now you're here. Yes, we are. At last. Quite. Well, now you're here. We should extend you some hospitality. A little refreshment, maybe even a quick whiz around the palace. I don't think we want to take a quick whiz a around. A walk along the highly dangerous battlements. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Or a brief tour of the dungeons, perhaps. I think we're making the patriarch angry. Ah. No, 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 you're a busy man. Yeah, we can go do that on our own exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah, we're pretty much wasting his time. So how about the dragon? Serious business. Well, yes. Really? Ah, oh, well, um, it's all pretty grim stuff, uh, actually. You see, I've come to get some action happening about this dragon business. What? Well, that is... Um... Now listen to me. There are no such things as dragons. They are a physical impossibility. Mm. Well, kind of... No ifs, buts, or maybes. I've had enough. The next person who mentions dragons in my presence will be off for a trip to the information gathering technicians. Extremely quickly. Okay. Well, uh, I, ju I just thought. He's all wrong. Yeah. Oh. Right, you are then. Yep. I think we are going to leave him alone. Look, I'll just go and stand over here then, all right? Or rather, we're going to get the hell out of here. He doesn't want to talk about dragons. He doesn't believe that there's dra there is a dragon around. So, the Patriarch is of no help. Of any kind. Besides, uh, we just wanted to get the mirror. Now that we have the mirror, let's go back to the alleyway. The mirror is used for one thing that we need. Nope, wait. Nope, oh, yep, yep, yep. First the luggage. Take the mirror into our pocket. I remember to do that. I usually forget to do that. Because the luggage cannot come up here. Whee! There we go. So 
let's walk to the tower. Yes, we can get to the tower from here. Odd, isn't it? There you can see the little pixel was there. That's the Rinswind. And there's definitely something oh, out there. Oh, hello, Death. Nice a to bit see. slippery, is it? Well, it usually is. It's fine, I assure you. Maybe you'd better just spit on your hands. I don't think that helps. That's gonna make it even slippier, isn't it? Yeah. It might be worth a try. Are you trying to kill... But then I'll slip and die! I think that's what he's trying to do. Is that really so bad? Philosophically speaking. Well... It is from where I stand, yes! Yeah, and besides death, you're supposed to be... Death does have its positive aspects, you know. You're supposed to be neutral. It's easy to do lying down. You're just dicking with us. Also, have you ever considered the saving on food, rent, and clothing? Well, you got a point there. Are you saying that this is my appointed time to die? No, he's just dicking with you. Well, since you put it like that, no. Then why are you trying to kill him? But I thought, there he is. And I'm happening to be passing, you know. <laughs> so you just appeared. It's a kind of outreach policy. Uh-huh. If it's all the same, I'd rather wait. Oh, if you insist. Just poof off death and go I'll to... I'll see you later. Hopefully much later. How much later? Don't start reading any long books. Uh... <laughs> Aren't you reassuring? Wizards have the honor, albeit a dubious one, of being claimed personally by death. Good. Not only that, but wizards can actually see and talk with death. Now that's fun. Despite rumors to the contrary, he is not a cheery dinner companion. Of course, he's death. He's not supposed to be cheery. And I do wish that creature wouldn't keep looking over this way and licking its chops. Well, it's a dragon. That's what it does. Can I look at the tip? Oh, it's got a knob on the end. That's usually how poles work. So let's put the mirror on the tip. That's what we're here to do. Trust me. I do wish that creature... That doesn't work. Hmm, I wonder how are we going to get the dragon to come uh, here? A nice big shiny mirror, that. Maybe if we adjust the mirror... Yeah, that'll do it. Just a little more up. There you go. Hello. <laughs> you like your mirror <laughs> image? <laughs> Ooh. Magnificent. You don't say. Now get out there and slay them! Nice of you to do a little pep talk for yourself. Good thing the luggage is always there, right under us. Yes, yes, a good example of post-dynastic Octoborock. The Octo what? Oh dear, I think I'm going to be rather ill. Yeah, you shouldn't be... That doesn't work. There we go. There's the exit. Good thing Ranswind is uh, very acrobatic. Well, we got the mirror. With the dragon's breath on it. It's one of the items we needed. For, you know, what we need to do. In Act 1. What was the next thing that I needed? Can't really quite remember what else we needed here. Oh, 
that. No need to see that uh, all again. Get up, Rincewind. That was an explosion. I guess another alchemist good is in there. Good grief! What is going on? That is a good question. We never find out. It just happens here. Actually, let's go. Let's go back to the uh, head chancellor. The Grand Master, the whatever it, he's called. I want to talk to him about the uh, what items we require. The Dragon's Breath was one, so we have that now. But what else did we need? The Arch Chancellor, that's what his name was. There's work to be done! Nope. Well, sorry. As if I can help who supplies my... Say no more. Say no more. What if I give him the book? No. You yeah, stop walking outside. I'll give him the dragon's breath. That's good, but, but, but off with you. There's still... Where'd you put all that stuff? Inside itself. That's how the luggage works. So I need a staff, an imp, a staff of tumultuous thermaturgy. Well, I know where to get that. A miniature creature of excitable chitters. That's the imp. Dragon's breath. Nope. We already got that. A spiral of never failing induction. Hmm. A container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, I know where to get that one. Okay. So we got one item. Now let's go and get the next item on the list. And here's a, it has a knob on the end. Well, that's true. It does have a knob on the end. The dining hall we go. Now, if you remember, this uh, wind windles windles poons has that staff. Hmm. Long. Yeah. It's got it's a knob on the end. end. I guess that's a running joke in this game. Let's try to switch it with a broom. When he go goes for the. Uh, When he reaches for the prunes, or whatever... Pickles. There. We got ourselves a staff. Let's uh, ring the gong. That doesn't work. Oh, come on. It's got a knob on the end. That do Fine. Yeah. It's got a knob on the end. Well, we got that. 